in the central medical stores and the district hospitals are being reinforced to curb drug shortages in the country's hospitals. Dr. Jean Kalilani again highlighted on this when responding to questions members raised. And uh, they raised these questions again to do with uh, her ministerial statement she delivered in the House last week. Members wanted to know mechanisms government is putting in place to ensure constant supply of drugs in the country's hospitals. Uh, in the central medical stores, it's not the same thing as having drugs in the district hospitals. Uh, he is right. He is also correct to say that uh, there are competing priorities at the district uh, at the district hospital. But what needs to be understood is that the government is reinforcing central medical stores because when district hospitals buy drugs from central medical stores, the price is uh, reasonable compared to the times when they were buying drugs from the pharmacies directly. Um, as to the use of the drug vote as related to decentralization, most of you will be aware that this is a, maybe a recent way of doing things just like you talk about Mpamvu Kwantu, this one is Mpamvu Kuma district hospitals. Decentralization of the budget so that each district hospital should have a plan and they allocate resources, including drugs. And once they have done that, they need to be disciplined and follow the budget. I'm happy to say that there are some districts who are doing very well, but for those district hospitals who need to be reinforced, the ministry is aware of that and reinforcement will be done. I mean, did I expected this issue of uh, drug supply in the country's public hospitals to be back in the National Assembly immediately when uh, Dr. Kalilan presented her ministerial statement? I expected it. Yeah, I mean, this issue keeps on coming up time and again. It actually it, it proves that it is quite a very important issue. And mm -hmm. also, so many other members of parliament are quite well concerned about uh, the issue of shortage of drugs. But like we said last time, this really is a two-pronged problem. Uh, you are looking at a situation where, on the other hand, uh, there is genuine shortage of drugs. But you're also looking at the other side of the story where the shortage is not genuine because mm. either some people are stealing the drugs. Mm -hmm. You remember about two weeks ago, we alluded to the fact that while civil society and other interest groups in the health sector uh, keep on raising this matter to say that government should do a lot to ensure that drugs are available in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. I think it is also our responsibility as citizens of this country to ensure that those that are also stealing the drugs mm -hmm. should also be reported to the authorities. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, these drugs are not really that difficult to notice. They are all labeled the uh, Malawi government, Malawi mm. government. It's very yeah. easy to see them. Mm -hmm. So I think if as citizens we also take a responsibility to ensure that we also make sure that if these drugs are bought and they're in the hospitals, they're in government hospitals, they should belong where they're supposed to be. <laughs> they are not supposed to be found in private hospitals uh -huh. because they belong to government. They yes. are public for the public health care system. Or oh, indeed so, some are found at flea markets. You see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I would like to believe that, yes, it's a very important issue. We talk about the issues of shortage of drugs. But mm -hmm. on the other side, as a nation, let's help ourselves by making sure that at least the drugs that are there are also m m used for the purposes Intended that they were bought for. Yes, yeah. Because otherwise, if, you, if government keeps on buying drugs and some people keep on taking them out of the, of the hospitals and selling them and making profit out of it, mm -hmm. then I think it defeats the whole purpose of actually procuring drugs. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think another right. very important point that the minister raised was the issue of decentralization of the budget mm -hmm. for the healthcare system to ensure that the hospitals at district level yeah, are hospitals. able to at least see what they are looking for in their stock. What is mm -hmm. it that they don't have and they are able to go back to the central government stores 
and buy. I mm. think this is quite very important because when you have a centralized system where everything is procured at central point like at Capitol yeah. Hill, uh -huh. I think he, the challenge becomes big there yeah. because now you are having few people at Capitol Hill looking at the bigger picture and I think he, that really tends to bring problems. <laughs> Thank you so much.